Let's read this first story from the Daily Mail. Biden stands by his comment that Putin cannot remain in power, but insists he was expressing moral outrage, not policy change. Claims three Russia gaffes didn't happen, what? despite White House having to walk them back. I, I, I got to show you the video, everybody. We need you need to watch this because um, I'm sitting I'm sitting downstairs. I, I, I get a message. It's from Cassandra Fairbanks McDonald. And she's like, you need to watch this video. No, no, like no laughing and LOL or anything. It was like, watch this. And then I watch it and we're just playing it on the counter. And then all of a sudden we get to this point where everyone in the room busts out laughing. And I'm just like, we are screwed. Come on, man. Let me let me let me play this clip for you guys. And then we'll we'll. Oh, wait, let me fix the audio for you. But, you know, it's funny because before the show started, I was browsing Twitter. I didn't get a chance to do that today. It's very necessary. And I saw your tweet with that Biden video and I was cracking up. I didn't want to interrupt your conversation. There. Oh, I was like, we, we are screwed. Have, yeah, All right, was... let's see if we got it. This, hopefully it's loud enough. Are you worried that other leaders in the world are going to start to doubt that America is back if some of these big things that you say on the world stage keep getting walked back? What's getting walked back? It made it sound like, just in the last couple of days, uh, it sounded like you told U.S. troops they were going to Ukraine. It sounded like you said it was possible the U.S. would use a chemical weapon. And it sounded like you were calling for regime change in Russia. And we know... None of the three occurred. None of the three occurred? <laughs> None of the three. <laughs> Mr. President? You, you, you interpret <laughs> the language that way. I was talking to the troops. We were talking about helping train the troops in that are the, the Ukrainian troops that are in Poland. That's what the context. I sat there with those guys for a couple hours. That's what we talked about. So when you said you're going to see when you're there, you were not intending to I was see referring to with meeting with and talking with the uh, Ukrainian troops that were in Poland. And when you said a chemical weapon use by Russia would trigger a response in kind. It will trigger a significant response. What does that mean? Sure. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you be silly. What? The world wants to know. The world wants to know a lot of things. I'm not telling them what the response would be. Then, then Russia knows the response. That oh was amazing. God. Also, I want to say I just love how it starts with this reporter talking to him like he's five years old. It's yeah. like the exact cadence and tone of voice he used to speak to a child with. God bless Peter Ducey. He's been great this you know, entire uh regime so far he's going to be really important the next couple of years too yeah it's it's crazy how the guy from fox news is the only one questioning the president look if if you know when you have a president trump you get a journalist who's like trump i got to push back i want answers i want some questions answered i'll be like you know we, we should have journalists pushing back no matter what it is if, if, mm -hmm. if you know trump could come out and give a good answer and a journalist is like i'm going to push back and i want you to answer these these concerns i'm fine with that but what do we get under trump every single journalist was just always spitting and yelling and complaining and very, very unserious lies, manipulations, chasing false stories. Now we get Biden, arguably one of the worst presidents we've ever had, yeah. who said, when you're there, you're going to see people in front of a damn tank refusing to move. It's like, what does that mean? Yeah. Does that like mean? troops are going to be there. He said, if Russia uses chemical weapons, we'll respond in kind. Uh, <laughs> is the U.S. going to use chemical <laughs> weapons in Ukraine? Well, remember, Tim, the adults are back in charge. That's mm. what yeah. we heard for four years. We need to get the adults back in charge. And uh, this is the best that they have to offer. I think this we, yeah, I think we went too far to the upper limits with the yeah. whole adult yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, I saw could have been my, a little younger. One of my favorite <laughs> Don Jr. posts was, he says, you're supposed to eat your vegetables, not elect them. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> and so Spicy. that's what we wow. have right here. I mean, he's completely lost it. And... You know, to your point, the media was so, uh, you know, vicious towards Trump and they, and they would lie about him. But now they cover for their lies and they, they'll actually run stories about how Joe Biden didn't actually say what he said. This is what he actually meant. And so it's a total double standard. and It's complete BS. We saw Lindsey Graham call for the assassination yeah. of Vladimir Putin. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. yo, I call him Lady crazy. G. Uh, mm -hmm. So there was a report a couple of years back about Lindsey Graham, Lady G, about how he had relationships with a bunch of men. And the establishment would say, Alex, you can't call Lindsey Graham Lady G. It's going to be hard for us to recommend senators to work with you. And that's OK. So I doubled down <laughs> on, on Lady G. And so Lindsay, he's is he drunk when he goes on Hannity calling for the assassination? It's the same thing here. And so uh, it's who's running the messaging of this? 
It's, it's, so I bring him up because now Biden is saying, you know, what, what did he say? Quote, for God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, wow, you want to talk about no peace, mm-hmm. no chance at any yeah. kind of resolution here? You can thank Lindsey Graham and then you can thank the president because, yo, Vladimir Putin's going to be like, okay, there is absolutely no reason to communicate at all with the Americans. Yeah. We know their position. So the you know, I'm I'm not a military expert by any means, okay? But uh, I've been in a few fights in my life or have seen some fights happening. And I think the number one goal should be to de-escalate, right? Yeah. And the adults in charge currently have no interest in de-escalating. Why? Because the people who fund their campaigns and fund their livelihoods, uh, something called the military industrial complex, and say, no de-escalation. You guys are pushing for war. We're sending in the MiGs. And like I said, nobody knows what the hell a MiG is, but everybody's sending in tweets in all caps. Send in the MIGs. And so I don't want to send in the MIGs. I want to send in the peace. Yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, you know, the adults who are in charge completely fail to understand that there is a concrete world that exists outside of their rhetoric. And politics doesn't just exist on Twitter or on television. And the things they say to foreign leaders or about leaders are actually going to have consequences beyond mm-hmm. their constituents liking them more or throwing red meat to their fan base or the right people disliking them. I mean, calling for the assassination of a foreign leader online while they are invading another country and tensions are as high between us and them as they've ever been. Or for the president of the United States to say that the leader of a nuclear power needs to be removed from his position is so unbelievably out of line and insane and irresponsible. But of course, they're the grownups, right? And we constantly heard about how Trump had mean tweets and Trump wasn't responsible with the things that he said. But you know what? Things were somewhat together at that point. And these people are literally not at all different except trump's policies were actually somewhat effective i I like how trump you know they accused him of working with dictators and i'm just like if if it brought peace it was uh, i can't remember who who, who it was so i don't want to quote the wrong person but he was like you got to understand the reason Putin didn't invade Ukraine under Trump was because Trump was doing his bidding. Right. What the hell does that even mean? It's so stupid. Yeah, and I'm like yeah. pulling our How troops out of sense? Afghanistan, I guess. Pulling our troops out of Syria, okay, I guess. Like, So what you're saying is Donald Trump was de-escalating war and crushing ISIS. So yeah. Putin was like, all right, I'm a chill. Yeah, so, should he not have done that? I mean, we should, I guess if it makes Putin happy, we shouldn't do it. But this is why it was a perfect <laughs> and beautiful lie. I got it. What is it? If we really want to piss off Putin, then we just need to, to stand back while ISIS comes back. <laughs> Oh my that, that'll show that that Russian. That's true. That's if insane. You're Russian agent. No, so well, I've been doing a lot to to you know support Ukraine. I've banned Moscow meals in my home. Um, I'm not doing white Russians anymore. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to dump out every bottle of vodka I own. Yeah. Um, and if you're not doing stuff to help Ukraine each day, you have to check yourself before you wreck yourself uh, because Ukraine is like my total everything now. Can I ask you something? Um, what's your policy on cats that were bred in Russia competing in cat shows? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to make sure yeah. you really have a sufficiently tough response to their in- aggressiveness. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that should be allowed. You know, okay. we need to take serious yeah. measures. We should ban Russian cats from America. Yeah, Pe- okay. I, I went to a okay. yogurt restaurant, like a frozen yogurt place, and they had a chalkboard when you walked in, and someone drew the Ukrainian flag on it. Mm. And I'm like, the people working here are like 16 years old, and I'm, I, I don't think anything. I, I don't. Need, I don't think any of them know where know where Ukraine is. No, they couldn't. They couldn't point it out if there was uh, the letter U and a picture of a crane next yeah, to it exactly. on a map. That's what There's I think. Pointing right to the. Yeah. To I love the all the buildings lit up in like blue and yellow, and I wish people paid this much attention to Ukraine in October of 2020 when it was reported that Hunter Biden was getting paid big money by Burisma. <laughs> yeah. But uh, now everybody's Ukraine expert, Ukraine stan, Adam Kinzinger's, you know, fawning over oh, Zelensky. Gosh shirtless every day on Twitter. Um, you know, but if, if you came to me and you were like, Joe Biden actually has a gigantic mind control device. And the reason he always seems out of it in Titus because he, he's like Professor X and he's just exhausted himself and he's mind controlling people into believing fake news. I'd be like, well, you know, there's been so many fake stories and people keep believing it. That almost sounds like a plausible explanation. <laughs> Biden's got a mind control device because I don't, I, don't, I don't understand how you can have millions of people in this country like one day all of their all their uh, Twitter accounts have blue hats then all their Twitter accounts have syringes then all their Twitter accounts have Ukraine flags yeah and like no matter how many fake stories come out they just like mm, yeah I'm gonna go along with whatever the, whatever they say or, or like uh, it was a Bill Burr when he was talking to Joe and he was like I just turn on the news once every two weeks and do what they tell me to do yeah I'm like man oh boy is that is someone's got to have mind control powers I swear thinking's hard 
it's yeah, it's yeah. hard to think. And people have whatever the hell they got going on. They got their fantasy football leagues that they got to pay attention to, or they have their Netflix series they really tuned into. Doing the real critical thinking about the important issues, it's hard. They just want to you know listen to the experts, right? And the experts are bought and paid for, unfortunately, by people who don't want to do the right thing. How many how many days do you think it'll be until some, you know, fact checker publishes an article saying Tim Pool claims Joe Biden has mind control powers? Mm. Yeah. Uh, One day, two days? I can, two, yeah, two I can days. absolutely see They'll it They'll be like, in, Tim Pool insanely claims Joe Biden has mind control powers because they don't know what sarcasm or a joke is. Or if they're, they're really, really meta, or if they're really meta, they'll release an article saying Tim Pool falsely claims we're going to release an article about him making <laughs> false claims oh, about oh, Joe yeah. Biden's mind control powers. You're onto something there, Seamus. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. So now, the whole, well, one thing I wanted to mention here is when we look at the scenario, when we look at the fact that Trump was called a, put, a puppet for Putin every single time he did something that Russia might at the very least appreciate, or which wasn't, um, you know, explicitly aggressive towards them, we were told he was a puppet. This is exactly why Russiagate was the perfect lie for the deep state and the industrial military complex to fabricate about a sitting president of the United States because they've been trying to push for war with Russia for years now. Yeah. And all you have to say is, well, the current president is being controlled and anytime he doesn't want to go to war with them, anytime he doesn't want to do anything that would lead to war with them, it's because he's a puppet. It's because he's weak. Thanks for checking out this segment from the TimCast IRL podcast. But if you want to check out the full show live, tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And if you want more special access content, head over to TimCast.com and become a member. Your membership helps sustain this company, keep our journalists employed, makes this show happen, and you will get access to exclusive members-only segments of the TimCast IRL podcast. And there's a massive library to check out. So again, go to TimCast.com or tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And we'll see you all there.